From one Blue Jays way in Toronto, welcome to Rogers Center. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So two down, now in for the Braves. King Tejada, one of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. A swing and a soft liner. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Isaiah Kiner falefa up to the plate. Two for nine so far in the series. Kiner falefa Out to short, Tejada. That takes care of Connor Falefa. Batting third, the catcher. King Tejada, next up for the Braves. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And fouled off. Shane Bieber's control and command some of the best in the game. 2017, the year before he made his big league debut, he struck out 162 batters and walked just 10 across three levels of the minors. Also worth noting, his favorite player growing up, Greg Maddox. That one lifted to left, and that'll fall for a base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the now count back. right there, but he the didn't give game. in. He can't do All much game. better than that on a pitch that Nine. far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Austin Riley. Ripped to third and caught! Now back, left field, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses, and it's 2 and 1. Now if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Righty delivers. A little bit low. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And here it comes. Runner right on the goal. Throw to second. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Blue Jays one, and the Braves nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, CJ Crone. CJ Crone. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Tejada pulls it in on the run. The right fielder, number two, Gabriel. So now to the plate for Atlanta, King Tejada, one for two. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hey, get your pitch, drive it. The wind of the pitch. 
Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. There's a swing and a drive. Varsho going back, back some more. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. First and second, one out. King Tejada digs in now. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. In the air out to center, Crocker settles underneath it. Brings it in, runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base, so two away with runners at the corners. And next for Toronto, Ryan Crocker. Bounce to the left side, Tejada. Over to Albies. On to Olsen. That's two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this no level, you can pretty much count on a double stop. play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. And next for Atlanta, King Tejada. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. In there for strike one. Rip to short. Gets it to first. And that'll do it. Offense help. Two outs, nobody on. And here is C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone. Got two here. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to first, ball game. And the Braves make it six straight victories. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. The 7-5 final score.